Today is a beautiful day, but it looks as though we're about to get hit with a strong wind. I don't know how you do it, but you're always able to predict the weather. We need to pick everything up before it starts blowing really hard. I'm not afraid of the wind. It's on the air. What harm could it do? Oh. It's already <laughs> starting to blow hard. I think it's better if we head home now. We'd better hurry, because it's only going to get worse. I'm going inside with the others. Come on, Mumu. Don't be so stubborn. Let's go home. I'm not afraid of anything, much less the wind. Come on, little breeze. Is that the best you can do? Go on. I want more wind. More, more, more! I see you feel like blowing today, but you're not gonna beat me. I'm Moo, the super cow. I'm almost there, just a little further. This wind has no chance against me. Oh! What is this strange thing? Could they be pieces of wood? It looks like a beaver's home. No, no, it's a nest that fell from a tree and broke apart. And what might these be? They look like oval-shaped white rocks. Oval-shaped like an egg. No, no, they're not rocks, but bird eggs. Am I a bird? What am I doing here? Is this my nest? I can't believe it. My nest is all broken. This is my nest. My eggs, my family, no! Hey, guys, now listen to me carefully. The wind has done something terrible. My nest fell to the ground and it broke apart. My babies, my little birdies, have been left without a home. It's a tragedy. Please, someone help me. But, Mumu, you know that you're a cow and you don't have a nest, do you? My children, please help me. She must have hit her head a bit too hard. She is all confused. Come on, let's go see what happened. What a disaster! The nest broke apart and the eggs are all over the ground. We're lucky that none of them cracked. We need to pick them up and make a new nest for poor Mr. Bird. What do you mean, Mr. Bird? This is my nest and you need to help me. Moo, you took a blow to your head and you think you're a bird. But Moo, you're really a cow. Now we need to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird so that his eggs can hatch. Let's get to work, friends. We need to collect branches. Oh, look! What are you doing? Mumu, we're collecting branches to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird. So who's going to help me build my nest? But Mumu, you are a cow. What would you need a nest for? The wind has destroyed my nest and nobody's going to help me build it. I thought you were my friends. Mumu, the wind damaged Mr. Bird's nest, not yours. You don't have a nest. Well, since nobody's going to help me, no worries. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'm going to build the biggest and most beautiful nest that ever existed. See you later. Here's one. Look, look, yes, and another one. This one's mine. I've got a lot of them, but I need a few more. No, not a few more, I need a lot more. Now I think we have enough to make a nest. Put a branch right here. Yes, yes, that's good. Ah, uh, I hope this is the way it goes. It turned out to be a masterpiece. Mr. Bird will be very proud of his new nest. Now, we've got to put it where it belongs. Talalo, can you go put it up in the tree? Now I've got a beautiful nest, but... It's missing something here. 
For a nest to be a nest, it needs eggs. I'm going to try to lay an egg. Mm, this is really difficult, but I need to find some eggs. Look, right there on the ground, I see two giant white rocks. Where could Moomoo be? Well, I don't see her anywhere. Chirp, huh? chirp. Oh. Chirp. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Hey, Moomoo, what are you doing way up there? Come down from there right now. When the wind starts blowing again, you'll be sent flying. Chirp, chirp, moo. Chirp, chirp, moo. The wind is starting up again. Come down from there, Moomoo. You're going to get blown away. Chirp, chirp. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hang on tight, Moo Moo. Oh. Oh. You know what? Yesterday I saw a really ugly fly that wouldn't stop bothering me. Olga, every fly is ugly and they also smell bad. How disgusting! A big fly with hair all over the place? I don't know what they're good for. All they do is bother you. Well, just like you, Rita. You're like a fly. You do nothing but bother us all the time. Me? That's not true at all. You are a stinky fly. And you're like a green booger. That's so gross! A green and stinky booger? Quit biting, you two. You're like two flies that do nothing but fly around and fight. But she's the one who started it. No, you're the one who started it. Hi there. Why are those two fighting? Ah! A spider! Somebody help me! Ah! Where's there a spider? Spiders gross me out. Go away, bug! <laughs> I just wanted to say... Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, but just go somewhere else. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Go far away, dear. Real far away. Make sure we can't see you. Did you see how hairy and ugly she was? I don't know if she was ugly or not, but I'm really scared of spiders. She was really ugly, and we don't want her around us. Hi. What were those screams that I heard? There was a spider right there, and it scared us half to death. It scared you? <laughs> Spiders are harmless. They only attack when they feel threatened, just like bees do. Whatever you say, but it was a red, ugly spider. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Red and ugly? I hope you don't mean little spider. Who is little spider? Little spider is my friend. She's a really nice and funny spider. I hope you weren't mean to her. She's a very good friend of mine. Oh, uh, yeah, but we didn't know she was your friend. But it's a... a hairy spider. I can't believe it. You cannot judge anyone before you get to know them. I'm going to look for her, and when I find her, you should apologize. Oh, dear. We really were mean to little Spider. Yeah. If I had known she was Milo's friend, I wouldn't have been so mean to her. It still makes my skin crawl, but I'm going to try to talk to her. Little Spider! Little Spider! Where are you? Don't pay attention to what my friend said to you. You're my friend, and I want you to come with me. My friend said they want to apologize to you. Little spider, don't hide. Let me explain. I never want to see your friends again. They were all really mean to me. Little spider, I'm so sorry, but my friends are really nice. It's just that they're afraid of, of things they don't understand. But I told them you're my friend, and from now on, they're going to be nice to you. Are you sure they won't get scared when they see me? I assure you. Come on, climb on my arm and let me introduce you. Here we are. <clears throat> <clears throat> Little spider, I'm very sorry for what we said to you before. I just got scared. Will you forgive me? 
Of course I forgive you. I know that you're good friends of Milo's, and he told me that you're nice to all the other animals. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the mean things I said to you. I hope you'll forgive me. Yeah, I feel the same as Mimo. End of story. I forgive all of you. You see, little spider? Now you have some new friends. Well, now that we're friends, I'm going to tell you a joke. A joke? A spider telling a joke? I can't believe it. Mm. Rita! What is red and dangerous? Strawberry jam with the tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> was a good one, little spider. Can you tell us another one? What do you get if you mix a rose with a tarantula? I don't know, but you better not try to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn to tell a joke. But you're no good at telling jokes, Moo Moo. What do you mean I'm no good? I am great at telling jokes. I'm sorry, Moo Moo. The truth is that we never understand your jokes because you start laughing before you finish telling them, and then you never finish them. This one you understand for sure. It's really good. Why did the chicken cross the road? Mmm, I don't know, Moo Moo. To get to the other side. <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> did you get it, huh? Come on, don't go. I want to tell another one. You know what, Moo Moo? I think I'm getting prettier every day. I don't know if it's my cute ears or my lovely neck that makes me the most beautiful giraffe in the valley. Uh, Rita, you're the only giraffe in the valley. That's why you're the most beautiful one. Have you noticed how pretty that lion is? With his amazing mane and green eyes, strong paws and cute bottom? And those sharp teeth. Hello, Mr. Lion. Psst, psst. Hello. He'll definitely say something to me. Hi, Lion. How are you doing today? He's completely ignoring us. But he's so cute that I'm gonna go talk to him. You have the most beautiful hair. Mind if I touch it? I already know I'm handsome. My hair is perfect. My eyes are like the sun. I'm the most beautiful animal in the universe. Um, how can you two stand being so, um, strange looking? Cow, you're too spongy. Your eyes are too far apart and your nose is, is, well, I can't even describe it. And you, long creature, where do you think you're going with such a neck and that coloring? I simply don't like it at all. Moo Moo, he was so mean to us. Do you think that my eyes are too far apart and that my nose is hideous? Of course not, Moo Moo. You're a very good looking cow. You have big, gorgeous eyes and a perfect nose. Why are you asking such a strange question, Moo Moo? A little while ago, Rita and I were walking by the lake when we saw a lion. It was a gorgeous lion. He had the most beautiful mane and eyes like the sun. And beautiful fangs and very white. He must brush them every day. So we went to go talk to him and the reality was that he had no interest in us at all. But 
I don't know why. He started telling us we were ugly and that our eyes were too far apart and I had a neck that was too long. He was full of himself. This can't stay like this. We need to show that lion that he needs to treat everyone with respect and that it's wrong to say rude things about others. I've got it. Why don't we make him think he's a really ugly lion? That way, he'll learn that he can't go around making others feel bad. And how are we going to make that lion think he's ugly? Why don't we dress Alfred up as a lion and make him look really ugly? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it. it! I'm sorry, but I don't intend on dressing up as anything. Come on, Alfred. Do it for the team. Well, don't count on me. Alfred, you look awesome. You need to go behind the waterfall, so when the lion sees his reflection, he'll think he's hideous. And the rest of us will hide so the lion won't see us. Let's do a trial run, Alfred. When I look at myself in the water, get closer. Ready? One, two, three. That's great, Alfred. I'm sure this lion's going to have quite a scare. I'm so handsome. I'm so good looking. I'm so ugly! I'm handsome, I'm handsome! This can't be happening to me! All of a sudden I'm ugly? I oh, must be hallucinating! No! That was great! Did you see the look on that arrogant lion's face? Milo, poor Mr. Lion. He's all upset now. We've got to go tell him the truth. Let's go, Moo Moo. We've got a lion to tame. Hello, Mr. Lion. I know you don't like me because of the ugly things I said to you before. I've always made fun of everyone, but now I'm like everyone else. Actually, Mr. Lion, you're still just as handsome as you've always been. And if you don't believe us, Go take another look at your reflection in the water. I don't dare. I can't bear to look at that ugly face again. Go on, you may be handsome, but you're a coward. Look at yourself already. I'm still handsome. Thank you, girls. You've really cheered me up. I'm sorry for everything I said earlier. The truth is, I think you're both very pretty. The lion has learned a very valuable lesson, that we all have beautiful qualities. Alfred uses few words, but says a lot. Milo has great ideas. Talala is clever. Mumu is so nice. And Olga is very pretty. And I'm the best of us all. <laughs> <laughs>